Hello there guys and welcome to modeling a minecraft character and we're also going to texture him as well so just get a cube and the next part it's up to you if you want to do it just hide your grid and now in a height width and depth just use one okay <clears throat> and now for the body just draw out another cube and in the width you want 1 in the height you want 1.5 and in the depth you want point 0.5 now in the translate x y and z you want to make all of them zero and same with the head okay and now what you can do is you can move the head up or the body down it's up to you so you just want to make sure that it's laying nice and flat on the bottom of the head and that it's not intersecting in the faces and now you can get another cube and this time the height will be 1.5 and the width and depth will be 0.5 and again just zero out the translate x y and z and now if you moved the body down you want to translate y to be minus 1.25 and now you can click insert and hold down V and snap the pivot to that vertex and then just click W and now hold down V again and just snap it to the body and now click Control and D <coughs> to duplicate and do it again for this arm just click insert hold down V, snap to the vertex, click W and then snap to the body. Yep, like that. Now on this you can duplicate the arms or you can make another cube. It's up to you. and doing the same again just trying to get into place and then insert hold on V snap it click W and then snap it back to the body and then duplicate it control and D and then same again insert V W and then hold down V and do uh, snap it back <coughs> ok ok so go into the material editor and create a new material and make sure it's assigned to the model And now Freddy's just going into his Minecraft folder and what he wants to do is you want to open up Winra as you want to get the character 
you want to get this one and you want to extract it somewhere either to your desktop or another folder okay and now go to file and you want to find that texture and then you want to apply it onto the character turn off filter type and when you click 6 you can see the textures all messed up uh, you've also got a kill off transparency okay and if you open up the UV editor you can see that the UVs are all in the same place and we don't want this to happen so turn on display I can't see it anyway right so what you want to do is you want to go to edge select the UVs first and you just want to move them up here and you want to turn on viewport 2.0 now I think that's only in Maya 2012 I don't know or 2011 hmm anyway so what you want it to do you want it to select that top edge and just cut it and now we're going to be selecting the UVs and moving them so it lines up with a head texture okay so you want to move these down and you want to move these UVs across just to line up with a texture and you can go into your viewport and start looking just to make sure and you want to grab these UVs and move them like this and again just look in your viewport and making sure it all lines up right now with this just select the UVs and click that button up there and it'll straighten them all up and you want to grab these UVs and just pull them back to here okay and you can zoom in real close and just like try line up perfectly okay now grab these top UVs and just pull them up and now what you want to do is you want to go to edge just like this edge and cut it and then you want to try find the edge that connects to that and then you want to sew it by clicking that button and then you want to move the UVs into place and now with this select all the UVs and just bring it down and you can scale it if you want okay now you got to line up these UVs so select bottom ones and just pull them down 
there's a faster way to do this and Fred shows you it when he's doing a leg so and just move these now if you select all these and click the button it actually straightens it all up and it would actually do it all for you so instead of pulling, out, pulling it out and matching up the UV you could actually just select the top ones and then click that button and it do it for you and that's what Fred's going to show you for that leg And just pull these down just a bit Okay, so just leave this part. Okay. And now we're doing the same for the leg. And you want to scale them down over UVs. And now you want to grab this edge here and you want to cut it. And you want to select the UVs to shell and now it's time to line them back up again so I select the top row I just pull them up to here select this and just pull it out and same with this one And uh, now you want to move these to here and this one to there. And remember like zoom in and try and match it up perfectly. Otherwise you'll get some like texture issues. Like some places might have different texture on it. So just try to do it as neat as possible. <coughs> and pull these down. Okay. So now select this edge and cut it again and then try find the edge that connects to the model and then sew it and now select all the top UVs and click that button and all these and select that one and then just drag it in like that and then select all these UVs and scale them down and now if you select the top row and click that and the bottom row and just keep doing this and it'll do it faster it saves time right so now Fred's just checking his model and making sure it fits perfectly okay and now when you've done one arm and one leg you can just duplicate them 
and then move them back into position and I add up to UVs all over again okay as you can see Fred's done the body already so that's up to you to do and again just duplicate the leg and then snap it into place okay now after when you've done this um, it can add different texture skins onto it and all that lot and Fred's going to show you how to do this so he's going to grab this cube and he's going to duplicate it and he's just going to scale it just a bit more than the other one okay and now he's gone into his UV texture editor Now he's going to text, uh, grab all the UVs for that box and he's going to move them into position which is here ok and then he's going to add a new material onto it and it's going to call this accessories <coughs> and it's going to apply it to the cube it's going to change the texture on the body and the other character should I say and he's going to apply it he's going to turn off her transparency and now in the accessories he's going to re-add it into the colour and then also add it into the transparency and there you go alright thanks for watching guys and please subscribe please like us on twitter and facebook Thanks for watching. Alright, see ya. Watching.